Hey everybody, thanks for checking in today. Excited that you are here. I uh, had a fantastic experience over the weekend. Wanted to share it with you for a ridiculous amount of reasons, but most importantly, to kind of help gain perspective. Uh, it, it really relates to expectations. It really relates to gratitude. It really uh, relates to uh, being in the moment and maximizing the moment and focusing on the good, you know, the blessings, not the burdens, all those different kind of things. But uh, over the weekend, I uh, got done with one of my uh, one of my son's games, and we start to drive around. And I hear a doot, 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 you know that noise. I uh, I pull over, I look over, and my tire's completely flat, flat like wasted flat. Anyway, uh, you know, I, I I'm I'm plugging along, kind of thinking, okay, how am I going to respond to this? Right? We talk about respond versus react. And thankfully, look up on the GPS, the discount tire's close by. I head over there. Now this is a weekend, so there's lines of cars, just cars everywhere, cars filled everywhere people going going coming going coming going everybody there trying to celebrate the fact that they're getting their tires fixed on the weekend with their free time that they have i on the other hand i pull in there really trying to plot apply a lot of the principles that that, that i've learned that have been life transforming such as zero expectations so i pull in there with zero expectations i mean it's a, it's a weekend day it's busy you know people are in great moods uh as they wait and anyway i walk in there and i say hey, look my, my tire's flat i i need to get it exchanged uh changed out you know you know what's the likelihood you know what is the weight and all that kind of stuff and ryan extremely helpful i can't wait to talk and spread the good news about him but ryan uh was the uh, customer service agent to help me and ryan says ah, you know it's it is crazy busy today uh it, but it is just a tire. I mean, you know, we're looking at about an hour, 45 minute wait. And so I digest that for a second and I say, okay. And I check out the options, right? Are you open tomorrow? Are you open later? Well, you know, what can we do here? And, and he just was trying to do his best. He said, look, I can try to do my best to get you in sooner than that. But there's appointments. There's all these other people waiting. And I said, well, I have no expectation that I, you know, if I, if I could have planned for the flat tire, then I would have booked the appointment, right? So it's not your fault uh, that you're busy. Right? Never apologize for doing your job well. He then says, listen to this. He then says, thank you for being understanding. Understanding. Like you're doing your job. You're being considerate with me. You have a room full of people, showroom full of people. You got cars out the door, down the street. So much is going on. People, you know, happy, unhappy, all those kind of things. And he's thanking me. Then it got me thinking. How can I make this a good experience for him? And as I shared with him, okay, well, I got my books with me. I'll sit there and read. You know, my son's good. He's got his he's got his phone. He's gonna be good. Just just kind of keep me posted if you can. He said absolutely. So I go sit down. I'm watching people come and go, come and go, come and go, come and go. He then updates me as it's going along. Hey, it looks uh, looks like we might have an opportunity to get you in. Just uh, stay tuned, and I'll keep you posted. He just gave me an update. Now it didn't get my car in, right? But he was just giving me an update. He was communicating with me. He was helping manage my expectations. And we talked about you know I had a recent podcast. Check it out on Apple Podcasts if you haven't yet. I had a recent podcast about managing expectations and how, how that can benefit you and how that can bring you more value. Anyway, so it helped me understand the expectations. I didn't sit there and assume that he was gonna get me in right away. I didn't assume that it was gonna be earlier than an hour and 45 minutes. So I just buckled in and maximized the time. Thankfully, I had that book with me so I could go over and do it. Anyway, long story short, it gets me in gets things uh, checked out. It was a higher price than I was, there you go, expecting. Um, but then he found ways. He appreciated my patience. He appreciated my understanding. He appreciated just my appreciation back. And, and, he, and he found ways to find a suitable uh, replacement that was more within my budget, that was more helpful for me, that could do the job effectively and get me on my way. Now, if you've ever had a bad experience somewhere, right? Restaurants, dry cleaners, tire, whatever. Have you ever taken the time out of your life, time out of your life to complain about that experience? Maybe it wasn't the best experience. Man, let's just assume for a second that you don't, didn't know what was going on in that person's life. You didn't know what was going on in that person's life. Hence why you had the experience you had, or maybe you had expectations that far exceeded the possibilities of that scenario. Regardless of what that was, I want to encourage you to take a look 
at the next time you have a positive experience like I had with Ryan the other day and maximize the heck out of it. When you're talking to people, you can't stop talking. Oh, you guys gotta go see Ryan at Discount Tire. He's just amazing service. Very polite, very, very encouraging to me. Kept me, kept communication open with me. Helped manage my expectations. Helped me find the best deal possible. Thank me for my patience. I mean, those are positive things. I'm gonna maximize that to the tilt. I'm gonna get that exposed as much as possible because I know that there are people out there who take that same amount of energy and that same amount of focus and concentration to complain about something, to complain about someone, to complain about some business, to complain, 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 complain. We need to raise that vibration of gratitude when you have a great experience because that whole thing, I mean, there's gonna be so many things that I'm gonna take away from this. Thankful to Ryan for this. Thankful to Discount Terry for taking, taking such good care of me. But so many good takeaways as it relates to how to effectively communicate with people how to manage expectations with people, how to, how to make people feel comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, how to help people understand the process of what's going on, how to get aligned with people so that you can work together just like Ryan and I were able to do. Big kudos to my son too for being so incredibly patient and just a bag of joy anyway. Um, but anyway, I just wanna share that with you. I don't think enough positive uh, shade is put on uh, people when they do a fantastic job. So thank you to Ryan, thank you to Discount Tire. Can't wait to spread that story all over the place, but I would love to hear your story. I would love for you to look for good service. I would love for you to look for opportunities where someone just goes the extra mile for you when they don't have to. They don't have to, they get to, and then they just do it. Where can you apply that in your life? Where can you give, uh, you know, uh, where can you give this uh, like amazing wow, you know, customer experience like Zappos does? Where can you get this, this situation where you give more than is expected of you, required of you, well, that's not my job kind of thing. Like, where can you be giving that? And then also when you receive that, maximizing that. Send, you know, submit a little compliment or put it in a compliment box, do something. Start spreading that kind of karma and start spreading that kind of joy and watch what happens. I'm beaming because of that experience. And I'm looking forward to you beaming as well. well that's it, that's all I got today. But I thank you, you matter. I appreciate you. Go get them.